Hey, what's up, guys? Your average war gamer is back with another video of World of Warships. And in this video, I'm going to be featuring tier 10 premium aircraft carrier that is Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Now, it is a steel carrier in World of Warships, and you can buy it for steel resource. And well, in this video, I will give you some tips and tactics how to play FDR. And I would definitely say that it is very destructive against battleships and sometimes even heavy cruisers. And if you know what you're doing, and if you play it correctly, FDR can be an absolute menace. It is definitely powerful because of two things. The ability to maneuver the bombs, and the ability to maneuver the torpedoes unlike anything in the game. The bombs have insane levels of HP. Each plane have almost 3800 HP on a single bomb. You know, that is insane. The bombers are ridiculous. The torpedo bombers HP is also ridiculous. It's even more than bombs 4000. And well, you also do have massive alpha damage in these bombs. And only three of the bomb, if they hit on a target, deal massive damage and I get a fire. Now, well, that's the strength of FDR. You can just go and hover around a target, keeping them spotted unless they do some spotting changes to carriers. The FDR is also insane in giving massive spotting to the ships. And in this case, that is not an exception. Well, in, in, on the other hand, the FDR also have insanely good alpha damage against poor Essex. Like, I mean, A6 does have 30mm deck armor, and if you have 8 bomb hits, you can find out that, that the potential of FDR landing all 8 bombs on a single target is brutal. I did like 23,000 damage in just a single salvo. That is no joke. For a carrier, it felt like he basically hit from a truck. He literally have taken massive damage by just... Uh, not realizing that the FDR is hovering around him. But anyways, he smoked himself up, as you can see in the minimap, as well as in the game itself. And, well, I showcased some of the bomb's power. The powerful bombs can be absolutely destructive. Basically, against any ship class. Like, literally any ship class. Uh, except submarines. Obviously, submarines are <laughs> basically based on, you know, uh, staying in underwater. So that's an exception but anyways uh now coming back to the torpedo bombers hardened pop defensive aa and look at the tankiness of fdr planes i can still take massive air damage and still able to maneuver my torpedoes in an absolute insane way to get a perfect strike on schlieffen how can schlieffen dodge these torpedo bombers it's a good question but uh, it's a mystery that he cannot figure it out himself unless he dies or unless he play FDR himself but anyways <laughs> this is something that uh, he's definitely having fun with and on the other hand I'm also giving some fun to this poor A6 A6 getting permanently spotted and he has interceptor build so the fighters won't tag but he's kind of defending himself crazy good as you can see he does have this build but I don't care about A6 I, I'm just simply trying to get some time by just simply diverting his attention. He's not gonna drop that fighter on tirpitz, which is what I wanted, right? This is this is the mind game that you can also play in FDR if you don't really like A6. Because if, if the A6 does try to focus you hard with those fighters, well, you can counter uh, counteract by doing this as well in return. And again, I basically did pretty insanely good damage to these tirpitz dealing almost 23,000 damage and he got a flood which he disappeared or at least forced to disappear now I was trying to look at the A6 again but A6 getting permanently smoked so I know that he is actually a good player of World Warships he knows that uh, the threat is real FDR is definitely a pain to deal with right now because if I drop him again I can he I mean he can put interceptor fighters on top of himself but but then the triplets here is kind of isolated. He's trying to healing some of the HP back. And well, uh, you do have insanely good torpedo alpha. With eight of these torpedoes, you can see it's 4,233. So I know that the poor triplets is not gonna have a really good time against this. And you can see I got three torpedo hits. What the heck happened? 
I thought that I will get all 8 torpedo hits. Nevertheless, I got a permanent flood. Uh, that was very un unexpected, I would say. I was not really expecting that. But anyways, Trippets will definitely gonna get flood to death regardless. So I'm pretty good with that. On the other hand, the game is still not over. They do have more points than us. Even though we do have more kills than... Sorry, not they have. We have more kills than, uh, you know, you can see here in the game. So they do have uh, a chance to win this game. But anyways, we will try our best to pull this off. At least me and my division mate is trying really well to basically pull this off. So Trippets somehow managed to remain with 1400 HP. And the Harbin, again, uh, is a pain to deal with. He's popping defensive A all the time. Uh, but I don't really care. He's not gonna be, you know, really doing anything regardless here. And I just dropped this Trippets. He's kinda in a very bad spot. So I just basically relieved him of his duties. And I just basically give him uh, some, you know, some valuable tip to get into the port. And now we are basically, you know, completely taken down the flank, except there is an Elbing. But on the other hand, there is an Essex that does have this interceptor build running around his carrier, which is fine. I'm fine with this. Um, I mean, I'm sure I can just drop him right now, uh, regardless, and I'm going to do that. Uh, now you will find out that uh, it does not really matter if he does have a build fighter like that. I just pop the or drop it with the you know bombs, and you can see he shoot down some of the planes, and somehow I think I missed the target. Uh, otherwise, I would have dealt pretty decent damage to the Essex, uh, but he's definitely trying really well to survive, and Essex can definitely do that by using the smokes for himself all the time. But anyways, that's not a big of a deal. But on the other hand, I do have now torpedo bombers again, uh, up and running. And uh, my target might be, this time, either a Bungo or the Kurfrost. Now, these battleships are very vulnerable. Bungo does have really bad AA. And I was thinking to drop him. But I then decided to maybe not go for Bungo. Uh, since there is a Yoshino. Or maybe the A6 might give him some fighters, interceptors. So I thought that we just leave the Bungo here and well, Bungo might eat some torpedoes. Uh, maybe that might not be a bad option to drop him since if he floods out, uh, I can try to basically drop him again. Now again, A6 is just keep keeping himself in smoke and smoking himself up like that again and again. But I, I don't mind. It's okay. I'm just dropping targets and he's not trying to counter my planes with his interceptor fighters and this is something that really matters to me than anything else and i'm dropping this bungo now i'm sure bungo does have uh, you know the damage con not up and running now hopefully if i get a flood i got his engine which is nice so i don't know if i get his engine permanently or not he might be dcping that he might have dcp ready but that's okay i did drop some torpedoes on the bungo but there is a Yoshino with fighter planes, so I decided not to go for that. Uh, maybe I can go for it again. I don't know. But I will find out soon. I don't remember exactly. Uh, even though that's my gameplay, but uh, I don't exactly remember the replay. What I really did well. But you can see here that this A6, he's just keeping himself in, in a state where he will survive. Which is perfectly understandable. But now I am switching my target to Ohio. Or at least that's the case, right, for me? Dropping the torpedoes on Ohio, using the island as cover, your A will not gonna work if uh, your if the enemy planes are behind the island. And in this case, I'm doing exactly that. I'm sure the Ohio is gonna move forward, and I drop slightly above exactly that. You can see Ohio is gonna eat, eat all the torpedoes, and I got two incapacitations, and I haven't lost much planes during this attack run, even though there is a core force in Ohio with some decent AA, which is pretty okay. Now, there is A6, and I'm sure he might have smoke run out, but I'm kind of bullying him at the same time. And he's trying to turn out exactly the, the way the good players should be doing. But you can see that, I, that I'm tr trying to basically keeping him lit and spotted all the time. And that poor guy, he does not know really what to do. So I decided to basically drop him right now, and I'm sure he's going to turn out. Yeah, he's trying to turn out, but from, from what I can see, 
and well you can see the planes are really tanky right so i shouldn't be having much time uh, much problem but ah uh, nevertheless i think i just slightly messed messed up and only launched four torpedoes because one of my planes got shot down which is okay i don't really mind uh, it's all the game that i'm playing against a6 uh, a mind game where he's uh, kind of confused at the same time uh, he has really bad position because if he's turning out uh, his jet boosters gonna get or at least give him less value in return because a6 have jet boosters on two of its uh, tactical squadrons and well uh, I'm just making his life a bit tough because of his position. He's not getting a lot of value by playing a at the moment. So that's pretty good. On the other hand, I have full squad of bombers, even though I have gone through so much AA. So I was pretty happy that I too have a full squad ready. And it is gonna go and send towards the Kurfus because Kurfus is an easy target. And Kurfus is not gonna be that big of a deal to drop. So here we go. Dropping the Kurfus. Eaten some bomb, oh sorry, torpedoes. He did eat some torpedoes, and unfortunately, he died from those two torpedoes of Gehring. I was happy, honestly, I was happy. But uh, I think one drop, if I would have done that on that Kurfus, I would have done at least uh, twenty thousand damage. Honestly, a good full drop on uh, poor Kurfus would have uh, given me pretty decent damage. But anyways, as you can see at the top right corner. Uh, just below my damage numbers you can see I have done some spotting damage it is at the moment more more than more than my actual damage right now in the game it is 175 thousand damage at the moment that is also insane really it is really insane and look at Ohio what's gonna happen all seven bombs hit and Essex is trying to smoking him up man he's trying to survive his Ohio by smoking him up and guess what happened just like I said if I would have dropped a good drop on Kurfust yeah he would have been dead and this is the power of FDR literally you can do these shenanigans yeah this is insane on honestly man I finding FDR exactly to be really powerful just because of that and now after killing Ohio I exactly remember this thing look at what I'm gonna able to do against this A6. Oh, sorry, on the L-Wing, sorry. Five bomb hits. Five bomb hits on that poor L-Wing. And he's dead. He's basically exploded with his poor 11,000 HP left. How it can be more brutal than that? It is definitely way, way much more brutal. Now, I think A6 does not. I, I don't think so. He does have fighter at the moment oh, sorry uh, smoke at the moment so well because of lacking smoke if i keep him spotted montana and des moines will eventually kill him in this case gearing did finally manage to kill yoshino and only the a6 is left so it was a really good game and i thought that i should showcase you that and the last clips are pretty interesting as you have seen i have basically killed this elbing and ohio with a single drop ohio has 19,000 hp and I killed him with 7 bomb hits. Elbing has 11,000 HP and I killed him with 5 bomb hits. If RNG says yes, at least against destroyers, yikes, a destroyer life is so bad. It is so, so bad when an, whenever there is an FDR, a good FDR player against uh, those, those ships. So it was a great game at the end. 193k damage, 3 kills, some torpedoes, some bombs and confederate at the end as well as combat scout and well in the team score i won't be surprised but that gearing played really well uh i was second in the team but i thought i should showcase the video that how you can you know still play fdr really well these are the tactic uh, sorry tactics and tricks that i usually use uh, to basically keep a6 out of the way and even though he does have an interceptor bill he didn't manage too much and at the end we won the game my Mecklenburg did play well at the end, so it was a great game, and I hope you guys like this video, and if you do, if you have any comment, please let me know, and just write it down below, and I will catch you guys later, thank you for watching, peace out.